What can I do to get rid of my eye bags? I'm 29, and for as long as I can remember, I've had bags under my eyes. I've always avoided the filler route because I've been told it'll make it worse. Is bleph my only option? I also have hyperpigmentation here, which makes it look even worse. I'd really like to improve the look of my under eyes, and would love to know what my options are. I think this is hereditary. Thank you for your question. At the age of 29, you uh, describe having always had bags under your eyes and that you stated that you avoided fillers and you want to know whether or not blepharoplasty is your most uh, practical option. Well, I have to congratulate you on making that assessment. Uh, for years, once there was an introduction of the, particularly the hyaluronic acid fillers, such as Restylane and Juvederm, it became almost the holy grail for non-surgeons to try to help their patients with bags under their eyes by trying to fill in hollows and to, quote, camouflage the appearance of bags. Now, we do this type of procedure in our practice, but there really is a limited type of volume that can be placed that can be effective. This material is very soft and so when what we see a lot in our practice is patients coming to actually have the hyaluronic acid done elsewhere removed by a, um, an enzyme called hyaluronidase and that's because once you get puffiness beyond a certain level it just doesn't work. So let's discuss a little bit about why you have the puffiness. And first, the anatomy. The anatomy is basically something called lower eyelid fat prolapse. Lower eyelid fat prolapse means that the fat that's normally around your eyes pushes forward and creates a bulge that makes the eyes look puffy and makes you always look tired. It, when you have a, a history where it's, you always recall having bags under the eyes, it's most likely a genetic trait. In my practice, I've operated on several generations within the same family with exactly this type of situation. In a younger person like yourself, if there's no excess skin, which is typically the case, we do a procedure called a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. Transconjunctival blepharoplasty is a procedure where we approach the lower eyelid from the inside and thereby avoid an external scar. This way we're able to reduce, reposition, and address the herniated fat, the fat that's pushed forward in a way so that we can make the eyes appear as if you never had bags under your eyes. It's a very natural look and though, in, in, a, as an aside, um, one of the most common phrases we hear from our patients who are thinking about doing this for a long time They'll, say, they, they'll often say after it was done, if I knew it was this easy, I would have done it sooner. And part of that is, of course, the hesitancy about doing surgery at all, but also in our practice, we do these procedures so much, we do it under local anesthesia with light IV sedation. So we've made this process very easy for people, even younger people, to have done with minimal uh, interruption or disruption in their lives. So that's what I would recommend for you uh, in the absence of a physical examination, but just looking at your photos. In terms of skin quality and hyperpigmentation, depending on the type of uh, issue that is the responsible for this, the, it, sometimes pigmentation is due to genetics, like, just like a regular skin color. Other times pigmentation may be due to environmental factors, such as sun exposure. Or, environment, or people who work outside or have spent a lot of time with incidental sun exposure. Routinely to help people with dark circles or hyperpigmentation, we do, something, we do an injection of something called platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is something that we, we uh, um, develop from your own blood. What we do is we draw your blood like a regular lab test and then we spin it. Uh, like, uh, so that we can concentrate the platelets, the serum, and essentially the growth factors and healing factors necessary for wound healing. 
when this is injected under the skin of the eyes, we will actually see significant improvement in skin quality. And so in, in, in your situation as a younger person, we found this to be very, very helpful. And in some cases, we'll actually do laser, where we will actually, from the outside, use a laser to tighten the skin and to resurface the skin. So there are complementary procedures that help maximize the overall appearance of the lower eyelids. So at this point, my recommendation is to meet with qualified, experienced cosmetic surgeons, discuss your options as to how to address this area. I would suggest making general anesthesia something you avoid if you can. And uh, once you do that, I think you'll be very pleased with the ultimate result of having, n not having the bags under your eyes anymore. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question.